What is up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Crystal Randomized. Here, picking it back up where we left off, and again, I am recording the day of, so, you know, just bear with me. Uh, it is very late. I know I was supposed to release this six hours ago as of recording. I tried to play the game earlier today. It just wasn't happening. My controller was dead. Uh, let me check. Okay, everyone's pretty, pr pretty healed up there, so... We're just gonna continue on. All right, so it looks forest. So <clears throat> we're supposed to get cut, and I need to teach cut to something. I really want my egg to be basically evolved at this point, but I mean, I guess we can take centret. <clears throat> um, wow, none of those are really that good. Uh, I guess I'll thunderbolt it just to see if I can get it low enough. I don't think this is going to one shot kill it, and it did. Well, you know what? It happens. It happens sometimes. All right, we got I don't think we have to talk to him. I know we have to go like get his like bird. Ooh, a Chikorita. A thunderbolt it. Oh, it's level 5. It's going to kill it. Right now, it's not very effective. That's right, it deals half damage. It knows Thunder Wave? What is this? Why is Chikorita like this? All right, I'm going to try to catch it. All right, thank God I have actual Pokeballs to do this. All right, we caught it. That's good, that's good. All right. Give nickname Chikorita. Nah. All right. Grimer. Okay. Um, it's level seven. I think Thunderbolt again isn't going to do much. It's bringing out Rain Dance, so I think. Nah, I think that just uh, stops. Uh, I think that actually makes all electric attacks hit. And I, you know, higher chance of critical. So what is Chikorita now? I didn't even name it. I meant to name it. Oh well. Thunder Wave, Pin Missile, Sand Attack, and Thunder. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, Chikorita knows the worst moves so far. Um, don't know if I really want to like waste a a, a, a Chikorita. I may. Uh, I may want to waste the Chikorita. I don't think it's that good. An Ivysaur? Huh. Well, this is also a grass type, so my Thunderbolt should be very weak against it. So it knows Slash, which I think is like 60 power. And knows Tail Whip. We can always get rid of Tail Whip. Uh, let me get a pack and try to catch it. <clears throat> oh, come on. I know the perfect name for you. I'm going to name you Flower Bud. Or I'm just going to name you Bud. B U D. Uh, I'll try to catch you with a gray ball. I like how it's blue. I like the differ the differ uh, the differentiation here in this game. What? <clears throat> All right, I don't think I can waste more Pokeballs on you, but I will. Hopefully, this catches you. One, two, three. <sighs> All right, yeah, I just have to kill you. All right, you know spikes. That's not a bad move uh, if I play the long game. <clears throat> and you know Toxic. So you have pretty good situational moves. Oh my god. Oh my god. This has, this, this, this has to work. Okay, good, good, good. It just had to work. 
All right, Ivysaur is gonna be added, and I'm gonna name it Bud. <clears throat> that's not that. That's not a B. Bud. Um, then we're gonna finish out this area. I played this game often enough to know, you know what I have to do here. Yep. <coughs> okay. Uh, then I need to go like figure out like what I want to teach my Pokemon, like which Pokemon I want to teach it. Uh, okay, he doesn't give me cut. Ooh, if I still had a uh, Pokeball, maybe. I'm gonna try to Mega Punch you. You also know Aeroblast. You know Aeroblast. <clears throat> I am... I am surprised. And I'm paralyzed. Okay, cool. And you know Dizzy Punch. I may need to catch, this bus uh, catch a Buzzsprout. I don't think that's going to kill you. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to go buy some more Pokeballs. Oh, uh, give me cut. All right. I know. Here, take this. You, re you give me cut. And then now I have to go, like... I think this and, like, one other tree are all the trees I have to cut in the game. Like, there are not a lot of trees I have to cut in the game. Well, actually, I don't know. I haven't played the uh, Kanto region, so I believe I may have to cut a couple trees in Kanto. But that's basically it. I don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do much. I'm going to Thunderbolt. Try to see if I can get rid of it. Uh, okay, cool. Missed the Santa. And I'm paralyzed. I'm already paralyzed. And, yeah, I stay paralyzed. Again, I'm already paralyzed. Wow, even though, like... Oh, okay, now I'm dead. <clears throat> that dealt five damage to me? That dealt five damage to me. A 120 power move dealt five damage to me. Okay, well, they're not getting the uh, same type of attack bonus, which usually makes that move so much more powerful. And then also, they're level five. <coughs> All right, yeah, you can see my Pokemon. All right, you hope to see me again? Maybe. I'll think about it. And then, let's see. So I'm gonna deposit Chikorita. Cause, you know, she, I don't think you're that good. I'm gonna look at what Bud has, stat-wise. So let's see, buddy, you have a spike, splash, tail whip, and toxic. Man, you got like no good. I don't think you're worth it as like a natural Pokemon. Like, you may just be an HM slave. I don't think you're worth it as an actual, actual like team member. Like, toxic and spikes are really good. Uh, if, if I bring you out first. But. Tail Whip and Slash kind of suck. Well, Spikes kind of sucks as well. If I can get off three Spikes, that's fantastic. But, I don't know. I don't think you're that good. Seed. What does Seed have? <clears throat> spikes, Dizzy Punch, Egg Bomb, and Smoke Stream. You're even better. I'm going to take Seed out. And Seed's going to learn Cut. Actually, wait, no. I wanted a shitty Pokemon. I'll put Seed back away. I'm going to take... I think I will take Bud. Uh, I'll make Bud one of my HM sleeves. Alright, so let's teach him HM01, which is cut. Yep, and we're gonna get rid of Tail Whip, because. <clears throat> at least at that point, you'll still have moves that can still de deal damage. Toxic is really good situational-wise. 
Like, toxic is fantastic, uh, situationally. It is not good all the time. And I'm gonna go buy some more Pokeballs. Uh, I'm gonna buy 10 Pokeballs. So $2,000. What's Charcoal do? Fire type moves, okay. I don't think I'm gonna need fire type moves. All right, let's head on over to the next town, which we've already gone through the cave. So the next one is Goldenrod, I believe. We're in Elix Forest. We're gonna get Headbutt. Well, actually, no, any of my HM. So any TMs are kind of useless to me. I can't use TMs. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this item. I don't know what this item is. A revive? Revives are actually pretty good. I can actually use them in the in in this round. Um, okay. Nothing up that way. I know I can headbutt a lot of these smaller trees, but it, they're really not worth it. I already own a Chikorita. Not worth getting another one. Uh, I don't really want to use you anymore. So let's bring Beyblade out. I have Arrow Blast on Beyblade. But I think I have other, like, smaller damaging moves. <clears throat> and Thunder's not going to deal much damage to me at all. Alright, we'll get a critical hit. So, you know. I'm an Icy Wind. Since that's super effective against Grass Sight. Yep, bye bye Chikorita. If I run into a Bell Sprout, I'm gonna try to catch that Bell Sprout. I think Star is also another one I gotta try to catch. <clears throat> another Ivysaur. Okay. Um, let me Mega Punch you. I'm able to hit you. Wow. Okay. Cool. Oh, I got a critical. That's good. So that should that auto killed you. I like that in Gen 2, I can just like now just click it. Alright. And then with this... <clears throat> X attack! I don't really use the X items in battle. I know they're really good. They be, I think they give you one or two stages. Talk to that green hair man to get headbutt, however we don't need to. I mean, I could head down there for the extra steps, but we technically don't need the TM. I can't teach my Pokemon anything other than what they already know and HMs. So a TM isn't really going to do me any better. Uh, a Sentret. Uh, do I have any, like, really shitty moves? Like, really shitty? Yeah, you don't have anything really shitty. You're overleveled. The only one I can really trust is Bud in this situation. Because Bud is just so, so, low. so low of a level and then they use Flame Wheel on me. I'm a Grass type. And you got a critical. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, cool. I'm dead. Actually, if you don't get a critical, I should still be alive. Cool, not by much. <laughs> That's so great. And, you know, Egg Bomb. I like how the egg took forever to get to me, just to kill me. All right, yeah, use the next Pokemon. We're gonna go bring out Toad, because Toad is not weak to fire. And we're gonna try to catch you with a Pokeball. <coughs> Gotcha, Sentret was caught. Yep, yep. Uh, when acting as a lookout, it warns others of danger by screeching and hitting the ground with its tail. Okay. Give a nickname to it. Uh, <clears throat> Tailmon. So Tailmon was sent to the PC. I'll have to check its stats when we get the Golden Rod. Ooh, an Aether. An Aether is actually pretty good. Uh, I think it restores PP. What, I, yeah, it restores PP. Uh, what are you doing just sitting here? Oh, you are a trainer. 
Well, all right, this works out, I guess. Do 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 do. Oh, a better moth. You're. I think you're flying. So I think Thunderbolt would actually work in this situation. You know, triple kick. It's super effective because it's a fighting move. Wait, did it deal three damage and then dealt? It dealt ten damage in total. You know, psychic. Oh my god. Well, I don't know. Is dark good against psychic? I think dark's good against psychic. Yeah, dark. Dark. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. I think dark is good against psychic, but I'm not positive. You're gonna bring out Metapod. I really got nothing to use against a Metapod, so I'll bring out, uh... bring out Beyblade. <clears throat> use Icy Wind on it. I mean, this should, this should be super effective on it. I'm not... He is just Grass-type. It is... What? It's not super effective. I don't want to miss its Rock Throw. I always used to think that, like, Pokemon had their own accuracy stat. That was, like, an actual stat on each Pokemon, not just an in-battle stat. <clears throat> and I used to think, like, Metapod and Kakuna had, like, the worst accuracies. But no, everything has the same accuracy stat. And, and, and then once you get into battle, it could change. Alright, Pug's coming back out. Pug, you're just gonna Mega Punch it. I don't think I'm even going to be able to get the Golden Rod in this. I got the HM01 cut against Farfetch'd. And we're in another battle. Cool. Electabuzz. Huh. This is an electric type Pokemon, so if I Thunderbolt it, it deals half damage. I should be able to catch Electabuzz. Hmm, I don't like that. That's at like the halfway mark. I feel as though if I Thunderbolt, which I'm doing, I may kill it. And I did. I did not want to kill you, Electabuzz. It just happened that way. And you also had a move called Future Sight. That move sucks. So I think this trainer battle is probably going to be the last battle of the, or last thing I do in this episode. Well, we did manage to get Farfetch. Oh, um, we managed to basically move Farfetch over. All right, you got a Bulbasaur. All right, all right, all right. I see where you're coming from. I was about to rest. I'm gonna Mega Punch it. Just gonna punch it to death. I'm gonna use my champ. I don't really need to switch train anymore. I'm gonna use my champ. I'll bring out Beyblade, because he knows Aeroblast, which is a fighting move. I mean a flying move, which is super effective against your fighting move. Aeroblast. I can't wait to play Pokemon Stadium 2 with these Pokemon. And just bring out my foragers. So like, yeah, I'm gonna Aeroblast your ass. What? That's crazy. Blastoise? All right, yeah, I gotta switch back to a uh, pug since he knows Thunderbolt. I need something with good type coverage and also pretty good defense as my front line. You're gonna curse. All right, so you, what, that decreases speed and increases attack and defense. All right, well, I'm hitting you with a special move. That's super effective against you. Wow, that did not kill you. Your speed is also down, so I should be able to go first. Yep, yeah, that solidified my win. Got that 300, that nice 360 XP. My speed is 17, <laughs> the same as my level. I'm gonna bring out Natu. Natu's weak to Thunderbolt. I, I can take out Natu, because it's a flying type. It's a flying psychic. Same with uh, Hoot Hoot. I think Hoot Hoot and Noctowl and like Natu Zatu, pretty big staples of the, of the second gen. But with that, guys, that is going to end this second episode. I 
thank you so much for watching, sticking through, and watching me like mess up and try to think of what Pokemon to keep and what not to keep. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.